Hello my dear students. Today I am going to teach you about the various states of matter. Now before starting, let us know what is a matter. Matter is anything that has mass and it occupies space. For example, like if we take a duster, which is very common thing seen in the class. So what is a duster? Duster is a solid object which has mass. It mass means it has weight and it occupies it has volume means it occupies certain space. Right? Now matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules. Now what is atom and what is molecule? I'll tell you that also. And phases of matter or the three states of matter is solid, liquid and gas. As you can see in the figure, ice is solid, water is liquid and then it forms vapor I, that is the gaseous form. Now first let me teach you what is mat atom and what is a molecule. Atom, it is defined as the basic building block of matter. It is the smallest constituent unit of matter that possesses the property of the chemical element. Atom does not exist independently. That means they cannot exist independently. They exist in the form of ion or molecule. Right? Atom combines to form a molecule. And further they combine to form large number of forms like solid, liquid and gas. And solid, liquid and gas, like solid we can see, feel and touch. Right? Liquid also we can see, feel and touch. But gas, we can only feel it. We cannot see it. We cannot touch the gas. Right? Now, coming about molecules. Molecules consist of one or more atom bound together by a covalent bond. Like if I'm, I told you, no, atoms join to form a molecule. So how will they join? They need to have some force between them. So it is because of the covalent bond. They are attached to one another. That can be seen in the figure. You can see the red color atoms are joined by covalent bond and they join together uh, to form a molecule. So in this figure, there are eight atoms, right? Red color balls depicts the atom. Okay. So they join and they form a molecule. Molecule is the smallest thing a substance can be divided into. While remaining the same substance means the property does not change. Okay. It is made up of two or more atoms. They bound by a chemical bond. I told you that also. Clear? Now we will come to our topic. States of matter. Now I told you there are three states of matter. Solid, liquid and gas. Ice. Can be get the basic example of solid, liquid, and gas can be seen in our houses. Like if you take ice in the ref the ice in the refrigerator is in the form of solid. Then what happens? The ice if you keep the ice outside at room temperature, it will change into liquid. So that is the liquid form. And then what happens if you take that liquid and you go and boil that? So what happens? It will change into vapor. Fine. So this experiment you can do as at home also. The three states of matter can be depicted easily by you. Solid, liquid and gas. Ice, water and vapor. Okay. Now before teaching you the difference between solid, liquid and gas. Let me teach you what is intermolecular force of attraction and intermolecular space. Difficult name? No. The name may sound difficult but it is very simple. As I told you, in solid, if you can see in the diagram, the red dots are depicting the molecules. So you can see solid, the molecules are arranged very closely to each other. So the spaces between these molecules can be seen. That is the intermolecular space, the space between the molecules. 
an intermolecular force of attraction it is the force with which all the molecules of solid are close to each other or fixed with each other because of this solid the shape of solid is fixed and the volume is also fixed and it is rigid rigid means it cannot easily flow right now talking about liquid you can see the intermolecular force of attraction is not very strong and the space between the molecules which is the intermolecular space it it is there it can be seen and you if you go so because of that the liquid is not very rigid they do not have fixed shape but they do have fixed volume for example if you take 100 ml of water it will remain 100 ml it will not change right if you transfer it to another beaker it will not change it will be 100 ml okay so that means the volume is fixed and shape is not fixed like if we transfer a liquid from a glass to a bucket so it will shape take the shape of the container so that means the shape is not change if you throw the liquid on the floor it will it will be just flowing freely so so that is why liquid does not have a fixed shape now talking about gas gas are not rigid because they are easily like flowing in the atmosphere they do not have any fixed shape means if you take if you blow air in an inflated balloon it will take the shape of the balloon and it does not have a fixed volume for example if we take a perfume bottle we spray perfume it just disperses in the atmosphere right so i hope you have understood this so what is intermolecular force and what is intermolecular space now next these these figures are showing the how the molecules are arranged in solid the molecules are held together with strong bond they don't have very easily they don't move very easily so solid can keep their own shape and size whereas liquid the molecule have weaker bond they can have they can move around slightly so liquid can flow they can't keep their shape unless they are in the container whereas the molecule are free to move around in gases they can spread around an equal space quickly and freely gases can't keep their shape unless they are kept in a sealed container so this is the basic difference between solid liquid and gas now difference in the properties of solid liquid and gas what is the difference particles are packed closely together in an orderly pattern in solid that is why they are so hard we cannot compress a solid particles are closely together but not tightly packed that is why if water is there in a bottle you can compress it okay you can press it and gases the particles are very far apart from each other that is why if we do take a balloon filled with air if you press it you can easily compress it right now the second difference is solid particles can only vibrates in fixed position but they cannot move away from each other because the molecules are so closely packed because of the intermolecular force of attraction whereas liquid particle can vibrate and move freely throughout the liquid because the molecules are slightly far from each other and gas as we can see the molecules are freely flowing so they can vibrate and move very freely and randomly in all direction correct now here comes the gist of the difference i have explained you so many things and i i hope you all know all the differences by now solid liquid and gas solid have strong intermolecular force liquid have weak intermolecular force and gases have very weak intermolecular forces the second difference is solid there is very less intermolecular space in liquid the intermolecular space is larger and comparatively the intermolecular space in the between the molecules of gas is the maximum or it is very large now because of a strong intermolecular force solid have a definite shape and definite volume 
whereas because of the weak intermolecular force of attraction liquid do not have a definite shape or a definite volume and gases have very weak intermolecular force of attraction so they do not have any definite shape or a definite volume understood now solid have very high density because of the high intermolecular force of attraction liquid have low density and gases have the least density right solid cannot be compressed again because of yes you are right because of strong force of attraction or rather intermolecular force of attraction liquid can be compressed and gases are highly compressible now this is the difference between solid and liquid and gas now i want to tell you one more thing we can change the state of matter from one state to another like solid can be changed into liquid and liquid can be changed into gas interesting let me teach you that also there are four basic phenomena melting boiling freezing and condensing condensation now what is melting i will explain this concept the diagram seems to be little difficult i'll explain this concept with the help of a example now you take solid like basic example i'll teach you which i'm telling you since the beginning of the class we take ice we will what we'll do we'll keep the ice at the room temperature it will melt so melting means changing of solid into liquid so it will change into liquid liquid means water then what we'll do we'll take that water and we'll boil it okay so when we boil water changes into vapor so means boiling means changing of liquid into gaseous state right now then we take that vapor or we we take that uh, we can like collect that vapor in a container and then what we do we keep it uh, then what happen it will condense it will cool down and it will change into again it will change into liquid have you have seen like if you are boiling some water in a container and we keep keep a, keep a lid on that and what happens the droplets of water collect on the top of that so what happens glasses changes into liquid no now we it is not uh, actually possible to collect those liquid but i'm telling you like if you collect the liquid those droplets of water and then what we we take it collect it in a spoon and then what you'll do you'll keep it in the freezer and what happens it will change into ice so what is the what is freezing freezing is changing of liquid into solid understood so this is the basic concept of change of state of matter change of so, from solid to liquid liquid to gas then from gas to liquid and from liquid to gas so solid changes into liquid by melting or liquefying then liquid changes into gas by boiling or vaporizing or evaporating whatever you call that from then gas changes into liquid by condensing or liquefying and then liquid changes back into solid by freezing or solidifying okay so i hope you all have understood what is matter what are the three states of matter what is an atom what is a molecule and what are the properties of the three states of matter okay thank you so students if you have liked my video then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you want to study any topic please feel free to comment thank you so much